Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. I'm going to be using Wickham 1912 Club Cola. It was one of my first, I think it might possibly have been my first artisan shaving soap along with Russian leather and to this day it's still my number one. Overall for scent performance everything. It just smells like cola bottles. Fizzy cola bottles or cola cubes or cheap Coca-Cola. It doesn't smell like Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola, but the cheap home brands like Bars Cola and things like that. And the brush today, still sticking with Naturally November. I've got my 24mm silver tip, which is set in my West Coast shaving tie-dye handle, which looks amazing. So bright and vibrant. Flick out most of the water and straight into the tub. <coughs> Managed to get a big job done today, in quite good time. Dropped my wife off at the hospital this morning, she's had an operation, she's had some grommets put in her ears. And then I've been back up and picked her up. We've just got back, so she's just lying in the bed behind me, getting a bit of a, hopefully a little bit of a rest. My middle child Mitchell's at home as well, he's not been very well. That's quite an eventful weekend. Let's have a lovely shave. Love this soap. So really loading this brush up big time yeah. Looking forward to this. I don't mess about with this soap anymore. I used to sort of try and save it, but having spoke with Darren, it's not a scent that he's going to be losing anytime soon. I'd be devastated if I couldn't get hold of this stuff anymore. Brush is well loaded. Wet the face, cold water shave I'm not using yesterday. Oh, I'm absolutely knackered. Got to bed last night, well not to bed but I got to sleep. But probably, I think it would have been about half past 11, 12 o'clock at night. We had a storm last night, the likes of which I have never seen. I've never experienced anything like it. We had hailstones the size of golf balls. Well, not golf balls, but you know you get marbles that are that big. Well, you know the bigger marbles about that big. That was the size of the hailstones that were falling in my back garden and at the front of my house and all over the vehicles. The car's quite dented this morning. So I'm waiting to wash it to see how bad the damage is before I contact the insurance. Oh, it's saying like this soap's just incredible. I thought it was losing its scent, but it's not. Now it is described as a citrusy scent. I would tend to agree it does have a citrus sort of zing to it, but oh, it just smells brilliant. Right, here we go. Let's paint this on now. Now I know this is a thirsty soap and I can take a lot of water.
and you can't argue with that. <sighs> Brush is loaded. <sighs> I'm not feeling too talkative today, so I might just blitz through this one. Rockwell 6C Plate 4, same one that I used on my head. It's the same blade as well. I can't remember what the blade is. It is crystal. So this has done a face shave and a head shave, I think this one blade. Let's see how it feels. Plate 4 felt phenomenal on my head, so it's quite aggressive for me to do a daily shave with. But we'll give it a go. I'm sure if I use a light touch it'll be absolutely fine. So you might be wondering what I was doing there, but actually I'm just trying to follow the green a little bit more of my hair. My hair grows this way, from this side of my neck, around to about here, and then it starts growing back the way. Now similar to Kevy Shaves, these patches here, I think, I can't remember what side it is now, I think it's this side, my most sensitive side. In terms of any irritation that I might get. All you need is a light touch. Outstanding. Right, let's just dip the fingers in the water. And as usual, the slickness uh, can, it's hard to get off your hands, never mind off your face. Oh, a drink of water. Alright, lather number two. Just going to dip my tips. There we go. Another outstanding ladder. Rockwell 6C with a crystal blade across the green. Still on plate 4. I have to say. 
This is becoming my favourite plate, I think. Plate 4. I need to try plate 3 again. Just to see what plate 3 is like compared. This plate 4 just feels so smooth, even for a daily shave. Don't get me wrong, it helps when you've got a great soap. Dip of the tips. And you can see down here, where it's starting to grow again. And then basically, you pull that bit there that you've stuck on your chin. Standing ladder. Pass number three across the green of the way. A little weeper right there. Other than that, or she, and because I love club cola, I'm just going to lather up again. And I think what we'll do is I'll flip the blade, I'll flip the plate over, and finish off on setting two. This is a fourth ladder. Not much on there. Let's see if I dip the tips if I can get it to grow again. I think that's pretty darn good. 
In fact, it's definitely better than good. Right, just take this apart. And I think if I flip this base plate straight over, it should be on setting too, which I am. Which is ideal, gives me a nice bit of mildness for the last pass. Just incredible. Great razor. Great blade. citrus just to help soothe the skin I do have to carry on quite a good post shade routine all the way through the summer because the sun in many ways is way worse than the cold winds in winter way worse got to keep the moisture up got to make sure you're wearing sunscreen all the time right so while that's drying in I shall wash the brush out The brush gets better every time I use it, it really does. find once you've had a shave and you've done that to rub your brush like that quite vigorously on the towel aids and the splitting of the tips which on this brush are now starting to look superb really are right we come 1912 club cola which is my most used soap and I've still got more than half the tub left it smells incredible oh. the brush was a West Coast shaving tie-dye which is a phenomenal brush, great handle, great weight, beautiful knot. All the tips now are starting to split, they are starting to gel a little bit now, which I'm surprised, I wasn't expecting that from a silver tip knot, especially one in such a well-priced brush. I mean, I think these are on special, about 60 bucks, something like that, so it's super. The razor, Rockwell 6 here. I've got not much more I can say about this razor. It's smooth, it's efficient, it's comfortable, it's not aggressive. Even on setting six, I don't find it aggressive. I just find it efficient. It's got a great weight to it. This is a 6C, so it's a coated cheaper metal, but it looks great, it feels great in the hand. I'm still not sold on the look of the head, but it's a really minor thing considering how good it shaves. Finish it off with Humphrey's Citrus. And now, how are we doing? Let's stall the weight. Oi, what a shave. I am now going to finish off with some of the best, or probably the best, poche balm that I've ever used. This one here is the very the third bottle ever made, or the third bottle numbered of Club Cola. 15 full square to that.
I would absolutely love a splash, a cold splash from Wickham to go with this. Preferably alcohol free, no witch hazel base or something like that. But that was a stunning, stunning shave. They just keep getting better. Anyway guys, thanks very much for tuning in. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.